every rider comes across situations when the rear wheel of the motorcycle needs to be removed. It is a simple task and it is very rewarding to be able to fix it yourself. Here is how to do it. Before you start, ensure you have these necessary tools. A 6mm Allen key, a 24mm combination ring spanner, a general screwdriver and an extension tube. These are available in your motorcycle toolkit. Additionally, you will also need a tapping mallet. First, ensure that the motorcycle is in an upright position on a firm and flat surface. Take a note of the alignment markings on left hand and right hand side chain adjusters. Use a screwdriver to hold the rear spindle from the left hand side and loosen the spindle nut on the right with a 24mm ring spanner fitted to the extension tube. Remove the plain washer and spindle nut. Gently pull the spindle out partially with the help of a screwdriver. Plug out the brake hose and ABS cable from the swing arm clips. Hold firmly and slide out the caliper reaction bracket assembly. Ensure the silencer isn't hot. Place a dry cloth on the silencer and gently place the caliper reaction bracket on it. Insert a cardboard sheet between the brake pads to prevent any damage. Hold the wheel assembly with your left hand and gently pull the rear spindle out with the screwdriver from the left side. Remove the left hand and right hand chain adjuster from the swing arm. Remove the left hand side spacer from the sprocket and keep it aside safely. Now remove the drive chain from the sprocket and place the sprocket on a clean surface. Ensure availability of right hand spacer at the sprocket center. Now ask a friend to slightly tilt the motorcycle while it is still on the center stand while you roll out the wheel assembly. Remember not to place the wheel disc side down as it may damage the plate and toner wheel. Also, do not press the rear brake lever when the wheel is removed from the motorcycle. To fit the rear wheel, first ensure availability of right hand spacer at the wheel assembly center. Now, Tilt the motorcycle and carefully slide the wheel assembly into its position. Make sure the rear shocker mounting bolt is not coming in contact with the disc surface while sliding the wheel assembly. Place the spacers on both sides of the chain sprocket. Then insert the drive chain into the rear sprocket and align the sprocket with the wheel hub. Insert the left hand side chain adjuster into the swing arm. Hold and lift the wheel assembly with your right hand and bring the swing arm eye and chain adjuster on the same axis. Gently Push the spindle into the swing arm eye. Remove the sheets from between the brake pads. Gently slide in the caliper bracket till it achieves a proper fit. Insert the right hand chain adjuster into the swing arm. Now tap the spindle gently with the mallet on the left so that it comes out from the right. Place the flat washer, spindle nut and tighten it with a hand for a few threads.
tighten the left hand and right hand swing arm adjuster for initial few threads using a 6mm Allen key. Tighten the spindle nut using a 24mm ring spanner and insert the brake hose cable into the clips provided. Now check the wheel for free rotation. You might have to adjust the chain play. To learn more how to, refer to the chain play adjustment tutorial. It is recommended to visit an authorized Royal Enfield Service Centre to get the bolts tightened to the recommended torque. You are all set for your trip. Keep riding.